The next formula we're going to tackle is the formula A equals 1 half H times the quantity B sub 1 plus B sub 2. And we'd like to solve this formula for B sub 1. Now some of you may recognize this as being the formula for the area of a trapezoid. And the trapezoid is a four-sided figure having exactly two sides parallel. And we call those two sides bases. And so in the figure below, um, I've labeled those two parallel sides as B sub 1 and B sub 2. And H refers to the height, which is the distance between the two parallel bases. Now, before we proceed to solve this formula for B sub 1, it's important to keep in mind that B sub 1 and B sub 2 are as different from each other as the variables X and Y are different from each other. And also in a formula, it's important to maintain the case of the variable, meaning if the variable is capital or small case, we need to maintain it's being a capital or small case letter throughout uh, whatever it is we do with the formula. All right, so let's go ahead and proceed to solve this for B sub 1. Now, my recommendation would be that we first try to eliminate the fraction from the formula, which is the 1 half. And to do that, we'll multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So we have 2 times 1 half times H times B sub 1 plus B sub 2. So on the left-hand side, we have just 2a. Now you notice on the right-hand side that the 2 times 1 half will cancel the 2's, and we're left with then 1 times h, or h times the quantity b sub 1 plus b sub 2. Now we'll distribute on the right-hand side. So we have then 2 times a is equal to h times b sub 1 plus h times b sub 2. Now at this point, what we would like to do is isolate the term containing h b sub 1, which means we need to subtract the term h b sub 2 from both sides. And when we do that, we'll end up on the left-hand side then with 2a minus h b sub 2 is equal to h times b sub 1. We next observe that the coefficient of b sub 1 is h. And so to finish up, what we need to do then is divide both sides by h. So our final result then is b sub 1 is equal to 2a minus h b sub 2 then all divided by h. Now just a caution here, uh, don't be tempted to cancel the h from the denominator with the h in the second term of the numerator. We can only cancel the h in the denominator if it were a factor of both of the terms in the numerator.